Hello guys, so welcome to the hands-on SQL course. In this course, we are going to learn a lot of things about, about SQL and we are going to go from the very beginner level to the advanced level of SQL. Okay, so before going to the course and the practical steps, let's let's first understand what we can expect from the course. So first of all, after completion of the course, we can, you know, we can become a pro, right, in SQL. Then the second thing that we can do is we can showcase our SQL skills in our resume, okay, and that too with quite confident, okay. Then third thing is we can crack any SQL interview. So if you cr come across any SQL interviews, you can crack that as well because we are going to discuss a lot of things about uh, what are the S I mean what are the different SQL interview questions, how we can answer it, etc. Coming to the next part, that is the course structure how we are going to learn all these things so the first step to learn is first we need to understand what sql really is so introduction to sql then we are going to talk about what what is a database and what is rdbms that is nothing but relational database management system and then we are also going to talk about the sql commands so in sql we use different different commands to get all the answers that we need right so we have different SQL commands like DTL, DML, TCL, TCL, TQL, right? So we are going to cover everything in a more granular way. Then the fourth thing is SQL syntax add data types and comments. That is the fourth thing. Fifth one is the SQL advanced query. So we basically technically we call it subqueries, SQL subqueries. Then the most important part is SQL joins. Since we are talking about relational database, so we need to also understand how SQL joins work. So there are many different types of joins. We are going to talk about that as well. Now the seventh thing is crack SQL interview. So as I mentioned earlier, you will be able to crack any SQL interviews as well after doing the course. And there are many more others which I could not note down over here. Going to the next part, that is now we are going to learn what SQL really is. And this is a very simple term explanation. That is, SQL is a language. We call it structured query language as well. So SQL is a language that we use to interact with the database. So if you think about a language English, so how, why do we use English language in order to interact with others, right? Why do we even use a language so, to interact with others? So database only, you know, database only understands the language of structured query language. Okay. So SQL is a language that we use to interact with the databases. Okay. You can also read this part that is SQL is a structured query language, a programming language that is designed for managing, manipulating relational database. That means if we are managing and manipulating data in a database, that means we are interacting with the database using SQL. Coming to the next point, that is, what is a database? A database is nothing but a organized collection of data. That's all you need to know. So, <clears throat> you know, every day we generate millions and millions of records for a particular company. So if we talk about Amazon, so in Amazon, I think we have millions of customers who are, you know, placing millions of order in each minute or in each seconds, right? So that huge amount of data need to be stored somewhere in an organized way so that we can analyze the data, we can draw inferences from the data and we can eventually help the business, right? So for doing all of these things, we need, a organ we need an organized collection of data. Right. So that's what we call as database. Now coming to what are the types of database, because there are many different types of databases. We have the relational data database, which is our focus in our course. Then we have, you know, different kinds of cloud database. A cloud database can also be a relational database. And then we have the NoSQL database. OK, and there are many other type of databases as well. Now, the most important question that is we are talking about relational database relational database so what relational database actually is so relational database is a way to store data so that they are related to each other okay think about it from this example like we have a parent data and we have a student data now if you think about it one student 
okay can have one parent right so we can we can understand that this two tables are related because students are related to their parents right so as you can see for the aaron for the uh, parent name aaron we can we can clearly see that aaron's uh, aaron's uh, sons are one is harry and another one is david so david and harry they both belong to one parent that is aaron so this is how these two data are related right so if we store data in this format right we call it relational database because there are many different relationships within the different data right then coming to the next part that is why sql is so important so here i have mentioned some of the uh, some of the uh, some of the positions that use the sql okay so we have first of all database administrators so database administrators use sql data analysts use sql business intelligence developer use uses sql okay then a data engineer also uses sql and then we have the software developers as well since as i told you before since sql is the only language that can interact with a database with a relational database it is so much important and and to be honest if you come to the data world and if you are dealing with databases relational databases you need to know sql without sql you are like a blind person in this world now coming to the next part that is features of sql there are many different features of sql right so the first feature and uh, there are many actually i have just noted down two because these two i thought is the most important ones okay so sql is a domain specific language and can only be used in relational database so what do i mean by domain specific language so domain specific language is basically when a language is only used in one for one particular purpose so sql is only used to interact with the database so with sql we cannot build a website with sql we cannot let's say we cannot uh, you know do machine learning models so by this we can understand that sql is only used to interact with the relational databases okay that means it's a domain specific language it has no other use now sql is a declarative language now what do i mean by that is basically in sql we tell sql what to do we don't say how to do it so unlike c c++ language so in c c++ language we need to mention how to do it so if you are asking your code to do something if you are writing a code in that code you need to also mention if you are asking to let's say delete a particular column from a data you need to you need to tell how to do it as well in c c++ languages but if i talk about uh, sql language in sql language we just need to mention what to do and sql will do it for you right it's like chat gpt so like chat gpt is like if you ask a question chat gpt will answer that you are not ask you are not telling chat gpt how to answer that you are just asking the question and chat gpt is answering that right so this is how sql also works so let's say if i want to select a full data from my database so what i want to do is i need to just ask sql how to i mean sorry i need to just ask sql what to do so i will uh, i will tell sql select all from this particular data whatever whatever data that is so that is about the features of sql